Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Our discussion today is going to be unbelief, unbelievers. Uh, the date is March 7, 2016. The uh, Bible verses basically just found in the book of John and also the book of Numbers. In Numbers, there were 12 men representing the 12 tribes of Israel who were sent to Canaan to explore it. Ten of these men came back and were afraid because of the giants and the men of war, even though the land was full of milk and honey as promised. Two of the men, Caleb and Joshua, gave a good report. They knew that God would fight for them as he has already done thus far. Because of the disbelief or unbelief, they revolted against Moses, Joshua, and Caleb. This angered God and the Israelites remained in the wilderness for 40 years and God took care of them. In the book of John, mainly in this gospel, we find that the Pharisees and other Jewish leaders didn't believe Jesus even with the great works that he did. They also were envious of him because of all that he did. This is why, through their unbelief and jealousy, Jesus was put to death in John 3.16. For God so loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Doubt or not believing in God and His Son Jesus as Lord and Savior, can set you behind or back, as it did for the Israelites in the wilderness. There is no need for you to fear the trials and battles in life that you go through because God will fight these for you, if you believe. Unbelief or unbelieving is a stage for a downfall. It sometimes causes jealousy, rage, and will lead to murder, as it did when Jesus was put on the cross by a mock trial. If we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and do His work, we are completely saved and will enter the kingdom of heaven. Without obedience, we will end up in Hades. So I want you to think about this today and have a blessed day. God bless.